He said, don't be afraid to bring a strap into the locker room just to prove a point. Are you at peace now with everything that's happened, or do you still, or will you still hold a grudge against David Stern and the Wizards? No, I'm, I'm at peace. You know, I, um, 2010 was the year the Lakers won, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember, you know, the excitement of Ron Artest being a champion, you know, he couldn't put his words together. That's, you know, and I've I, I seen an article that says, you know, they brung up the brawl. And I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. What is that? What does that got to do with him being a champion now? Like, what, what is, like, why are you bringing up his past? Like, he's grown. Like, isn't that the point to grow? Like, how am I going to grow past to keep bringing it up. this incident if you keep trying to bring me back yeah. every time I move forward? Yeah. So, fast forward to me, I was angry, you know, I was angry. And then what ended up happening is, it was like, well, if I start making fun of it, the media can't make fun of it anymore because I'm funnier than they will be. So I just started poking fun at myself mm -hmm. and just basically took the power out of it. Now, you know, when people write, they don't even mention like, oh, the guy who goes to the locker room is like, I can save a baby over here. And they're like, yeah, the guy <laughs> who brought a gun to the locker room saved three children. It's like, wait, what? So now it's just funny for me. Yeah, no, and, and I mean, had you not brought guns into the locker room, do you think you'd be a Hall of Famer? No. No. Oh. Because the only reason that anyone knows about guns in the locker room is because I was damaged goods. You gotta mean? remember, if you have, because I'm damaged, I wasn't, I wasn't worth anything anymore. I had four, at that point I had three knee surgeries in 14 months. Okay. Doctors already told them that I won't be the same player. So there were other people with guns in the locker rooms, is what you're saying? I Eddie, came in an it, era where it was normal. Yeah, you I've know, heard. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, okay, so. Yeah, I know. You know, there, so, you know, it wasn't that, you know, we're shooting people. No, of course not. It was just one of those things that, you know, guys had guns yeah. and lock boxes. That's where lock boxes came from. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when, when players actually had weapons, it was, going to the club. You know, most clubs are yeah. downtown. The arena's downtown. So they'll go downtown, put their guns in the locker room, mm -hmm. go to the club, and then go back to their locker room, go, go home, you know, if it's safe. So you will find random guns in locker rooms. Like, mm -hmm. if they did a sweep right now, yes. if they did a sweep right now, right to this day, you will find at least five to ten guns in cars in the arenas. It's wow. Just, it's just something that... What about in the locker room? I'm... I don't see anyone being that stupid, but... You're not allowed to bring guns in the locker room now? Eh. What if you have a license? Eh. You don't know. That's what I'm saying. But, you know, now you I've got... I've seen it. You got locked. Oh, so you, yeah. you recently? Yeah. <laughs> we can say it. But, okay, so you've seen it. Like, yeah. So the theory of, you know, oh, he did something, it's it's our workplace. It's, it's our home, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like, so you... Spend a lot of time there. Yeah, you spend so much time there. So you'll see, you know, from... Extra cell phones. <laughs> extra, oh, extra cell phones? Extra, really? Extra, like two, three, that yeah, phone, yeah, this bat, phone? Yeah, you'll mm -hmm. see that all stuff in the locker, jewelry in the locker, jewelry, box and lockers. Like, that's where we, that's our, you know, that's, we spend more time there than sometimes at home. That's true. You know, so I'm, so I'm sure you've probably seen, so. So you're at peace with it. Yeah. Coming up, Gilbert Arenas heats things up in our first and 10 questions. It is time now for first and 10. First current or former player you would have loved to play with during your career? LeBron. Oh, like actual teammates? Yeah. With LeBron? Yeah. A lot of guys say they don't want to play with LeBron. Why? I mean, most guys, are not, most guys are not killers. So I'm a killer, so I compliment Oof. him. Okay. First thing you need to know about basketball games at carnivals? It's rigged. No, it's not. Yeah, and they make the basket like really like, like so you really have to swish it so if it hits any of the rim it's really like you should be good at that though oh i want a lot of toys because i read it because i shoot from the side <laughs> <laughs> first piece of advice you gave kevin durant play your game you know it's 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 about you know who you are not what they think you want to be you know it's you know just go out there be kevin durant you don't need to be who you who they think you should be first piece of advice you would give lebron james He's the king. We can't you can't give him advice. You can't give advice to the king. Um, don't make Space Jam 2. 
What? I would give him that advice. We, 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 that's what we want. The Space Why? Jam guys want that. Well, no, the Space Jam guys don't want that. Michael Jordan was the Space Jam. I don't want LeBron getting in the Space Jam. <laughs> Yeah, but, no, uh, you can't. No, you can't make it better than that. We don't know yet. We're going to see who his cast is. I mean, LeBron puts on good cast members, so the, the supporting actors might be a little bit better than Jordan's was. First reaction when 2 Chains name dropped you on Spend It. Uh, not really. Like, I was still in that, I was still in the, I, I was still in that, angry mode okay. so when jay-z did it two chains did it it wasn't really like i enjoy the song now okay but you didn't like it then <laughs> i didn't like Why? it then. because it was like <laughs> <laughs> okay i mean listen if two chains or jay-z ever name dropped me on a song like i was in the background of a lil wayne video one time and it made my whole year like i know i like i was i was happy like because you know but it was still like oh, okay come on, all right guys. all right listen you know <laughs> because you get to get name dropped all the time it's not such yeah. a big like like you know. little lucifer did it too yeah and you know but i'm like my kids is like yeah we, you're like yeah, done that yeah guns go. did it yeah we did like you know it was like ah. <laughs> <laughs>